Hey guys, it's me, Komasan, and welcome back to another weekly FNAF news recap. So, we got a lot of news this week. We got some new YouTubes, more to, uh, a new Five Nights at Freddy's Security Boys Ruin Wave is now available. The launch includes a Ruin Chica figure, a pin set featuring an MX, ES, the Entity, Eclipse, Casey, Helpy, and the Mimic. So, if you're interested, uh, pick them up. It is YouTube, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to pick it up very fast. I'm not sure if it's a limited one. So if you're planning on buying this, uh, pick it up pretty fast. Just uh, FYI, because people really like YouTubes. We also got a teaser for another upcoming YouTubes, and it's uh, Steve Waggle, uh, William Afton. Uh, no one calls him by that name. It's just William Afton uh, from uh, the FNAF movie. So uh, it was image here's an image uh this is what it's gonna look like i guess like a little alt of it but it's, it's a teaser we don't know when it's actually coming out so if you if you're wanting to buy it keep a lookout for the news i'll probably tell you guys when it comes out because i do cover the news but it could be a week late so uh might not want to trust me on that also cloak uh i think that's markiplier and jack uh store uh, they will they release some new FNAF clothes. Uh, there's a lot of clothes options they have. There's like a delivery bag. Like there's some weird stuff. Here. Like the clothes the clothes clothes stuff is pretty cool, but there's some very weird stuff here. Like there's like a candle I think. Yeah, there's a candle. I don't know why someone would buy a Five Nights at Freddy's candle. It was a pizza cuddle. So if you want to in it. If you want an official Five Nights at Freddy's pizza cuddle, you can pick it up at the clerk store. It costs $14. There's also a flashlight, some posters, and the typical clothing items. So if you're looking to get some new clothes, come to Cloak. Uh, it's kind of expensive. Like, Jesus, this is like $100 for a jacket. That's expensive. I don't have the money for that. Uh, maybe you guys do, but I personally don't, so I won't be picking up anything here. But... This, there we go, guys. There's some new clothes you guys can wear. Well. You're into FNAF. Uh, so now we're actually at the game stage. So there's a, a subtitle update for Five Nights at Freddy's 3 on consoles has completed its Q&A testing and will be reviewed for release soon. I honestly don't know what happened with the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 subtitles or something. Uh, I don't play on consoles. I uh, I don't have the game to be honest, but. It's kind of weird how they screwed something up with subtitles because there's not a lot of talking in the game and there should be some transcripts by like Scott to give to like click team so it's 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 kind of a weird problem that they're talking about but I guess stuff like that happens but it's gonna be fixed so if you play on consoles Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is gonna be fixed if only Spring Trip was fixed he's not now we got some help on the two news. We do got a decent amount of help on the two news because then uh, you know flat top mode is coming out. So we actually got the official soundtrack. It's now available to stream on Spotify and Apple Music. So if you enjoyed the music in that game or the atmosphere of animatronics slowly trying to kill you, you can now listen to it on Spotify. So that's really cool. I'm, I'm surprised it didn't come out like already because the game came out like in October or something. Like I think Persona 3 Reload came faster than this. So very odd, but it's now available. So if you like the music, you can now listen to it. So very, very cool. Uh, we also got Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach coming to Xbox now. So it's now, so Ruin is now available on Xbox. Uh, there was some problems with the game with the port because each version is going to be different with its own bugs and problems. But uh, Still War is actively trying to fix the bugs, but you can now play Ruin on Xbox. And if you do own an Xbox and you're curious about Ruin, Ruin and you, you're not sure if you have money or not, you don't have to worry because it is a free DLC. So if you have the game, you just have to download it and bam, you got a free DLC. I played it. I liked it a lot. I it, I put in S still same with Security Breach. It's a very good uh, DLC. It's 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 very fun too. It's very 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 scary on some parts, like the endoskeleton part. There is also the physical re release of Help on the Two is gonna be uh, coming out on June twentieth. Uh, it is being published by uh, Maximum Entertainment. 
and I do have some problems with the company behind uh, its publishing the physical edition because uh, there was a game I played called Thumb Fighting Hordes and it's a fighting game and they like laid off the entire team without any notice. Uh, the final two Keltos were a broken mess and they did release a pass but it, if you followed all the developers how they're gonna fix like especially for a fighting game once they know how the game works like one person's not gonna fix everything so I don't like the company publishing the physical edition that's just my personal gripes with the company but if you want to buy the physical edition you can it's only on PS5 so if you have a PS5 and a VR2 uh, pick it up I personally won't because I don't have a PS5 and I hate maximum entertainment so I'd rather buy the digital version on Steam instead of supporting those people like that because I hate them. It's my personal opinion, you can like them, but I have my reasons not to like the company. We also got some Five Nights at Freddy's 2 movie news. Uh, so it is be beginning filming on October 2024. Uh, a new major male role ha is rumored for the sequel. However, the specifics are currently unknown. So new important characters are gonna be coming to the FNAF 2 movie and I think it's going to be Henry, you know, William Afton's co-worker, then uh, they kind of broke off and did their own things because William and kind of went insane, so we're going to be having that in the movie, so more stuff probably, maybe the puppet, because the FNAF one ending credits, it did the, you know, puppet thing, but the big thing is people are curious on who is going to be the actor of this said character, and I don't really follow movies that much, so I don't currently I don't know like actors and stuff that much like what if it's Keanu Reeves honestly I want to see some new faces in movies like video game movies because I'm get, I'm getting tired of seeing Jack Black and everything I don't like Jack Black he does a mediocre performance um, and he's kind of a bad person he supports some bad organizations but uh, I want some new people I want some new faces I want to see the acting prowess be displayed and it would be cool to uh, see who this person is when uh, we get closer to the release date of this movie. But that's all the news we had this week. A lot of news, uh, a lot of more, lots and lots of more stuff. Uh, so much stuff that I cannot afford and that makes me very sad. But we got a lot of good news this week. Hopefully next week is more impactful. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like subscribe. I noticed a lot of people are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, it helps out a lot, and I want to reach the goal of 1,000 subscribers. So if you do, it would help out a lot. It will make me happy, and you get more content too. So it kills two boards with one stone. So I'll, go, I'll see you guys later, and look forward for the next week of FNF News.